Where are your meibomian glands and why should you care about them? Hi, I'm Dr. Nagoria. I'm a board certified ophthalmologist and you're watching the ifax.com channel. Now, most people do not know where their meibomian glands are and what they're responsible for doing. So let's take a look. Your meibomian glands are tiny little glands that are located along the edges of your eyelids, just behind the eyelashes. These glands produce an oily substance that is an important part of your eye's natural tears. The oil that is made by the meibomian glands helps to prevent your tears from evaporating too quickly. This can help your eyes to feel moist and more comfortable. The oily layer also helps to evenly spread tears across the surface of your eyes each time that you blink. This is important for maintaining clear vision as well as for preventing dry eyes. So what happens when these glands don't work properly? When the meibomian glands are not functioning well, it can lead to problems like dry eye, blepharitis, which is an inflammation of the eyelids, and then blepharitis can also lead to problems like styes and chalazions, which you've probably probably seen on people if you haven't had them yourself. They look like little bumps and sometimes they can actually become quite large and red and inflamed. If you've ever experienced this dye, you know how uncomfortable and annoying they are. They're also very difficult to get rid of. So what can you do to prevent blepharitis and keep these tiny glands in your eyelids functioning well? So first things first, you wanna make sure that you practice good eyelid hygiene. This means that you're regularly cleaning your eyelids, usually in the shower with a gentle soap. And if you need extra help, there are also special eyelid wipes that can help remove any debris, oil, or buildup that can block the glands. A warm compress just a few minutes each day can help soften any of the hardened oils in the glands. This allows them to exit the glands and then allows the glands to function optimally. You can also massage the eyelids gently, which can help remove any harden oil from the glands and help the eyelids to function optimally. In general, you're going to want to avoid any kind of eye strain and also treat dry eye if you already have it. Having dry eye can strain the glands further and create a cycle that is hard to break. Now, I'm wearing eye makeup, but you should also limit the use of eye makeup and make sure that you get your makeup off completely. Every night, I make sure I take a cleansing cloth and make sure that the makeup is removed completely before I go to bed. Finally, you will also want to avoid smoking. Smoking can lead to dry eyes. It can also negatively impact the health of your meibomian glands. So avoid smoking to help keep your glands working well, as well as to keep you healthier overall. Having healthy meibomian glands can improve dry eye and can also prevent blepharitis, as well as the development of styes and chalazions. Hope you found this helpful. Remember to subscribe below, and if you have any further questions, drop them in the comments, and I'll try to answer them in a future video. Thanks for watching.